Hey, quad bros. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Glad you guys are joining me for another video. Today, we've got a dev blog as well as the test server for the Battle of the Bulge campaign. So we're going to be taking a look quickly at this dev blog, which is talking about some reworking of locations in Berlin, the maps in Berlin. Uh, and then we're going to be jumping into the test server and taking a look at the various new weapons added, the half tracks that are being added, or I guess trucks that are being added uh, as mechanized, as well as, um, did I say the maps? Yeah, we're looking at the maps. Oh, and the new uh, the new equipment, like the new, the new drip that we're getting, the new costumes, appearances. I guess they're not really costumes, uniforms. A uniform is just a costume, right guys? It's a costume for soldiers or for work. Anyway. Um, let's go through this dev blog real quick here. So you can see the banks of the spree have been changed. This is the new. This is the old. The major change that's happening here, guys, is you can see these pontoon bridges have been moved closer to the main bridge. Um, so we can see, right, it's way back here. These used to be accessible, but you couldn't really do a whole lot with them. Like, it wasn't really... It wasn't, it wasn't really worth it, right? Like, you had to go so far. Normally, you just got shot. Here, moving them closer lets you fire back as you cross. So, that's really nice to see. And also, vehicles can cross it as well, um, even though they have added some obstacles. They've also just cleaned up a lot of the map. That's going to be a recurring thing in Berlin. They're going to clean up a lot of these different areas here. You can see these vehicles are being cleaned up um, just to allow vehicles to, to maneuver their way through a little bit easier. So, that's, again, that, that's a good change. That's a good thing to see. Next up, Hitler's Bunker has seen a little bit of changes here. This isn't actually, I don't know why it's Hitler's Bunker here. Um, it's not actually, like Hitler's Bunker is down here in this corner. You can see it right here. So this is more like the approach to Hitler's Bunker. But you can see uh, the old, the major changes here is this is being pushed back and these are being pushed up. So we can see this gets pushed back, these get pushed back. Um, so that's that's really the big changes here and they're adding some various like new cover and things like that for people to be able to uh to push more into here without as much difficulty and they've also cleaned up the main road here you can see in the old it's like filled with all these like trains and clutter and here it's it's much more clean easier for tanks to to move through so that's that's again that's pretty good to see not many two changes here really just cleaning up some stuff right we can see Tanks getting removed. Some various little pieces of, uh, of trash being removed from the streets of Berlin. And finally, the Reichstag. Here we can see again. Just cleaning up some stuff. Just just tidying up a little bit. Moving some, some things around. I'm going to do this nice and slow so everybody can see some of the differences. It's really all focused on the center there. Things are just being moved around. Being removed. Adding some uh, some cover. And some adding some, some various pieces of polish to the maps which is again just nice to see and that's it now let's move on to the thing that we really care about the test server and it's also important to note a lot of people had disappeared uh customization that happened during the transfer they've said that all of that ha has been removed from your soldiers and placed into your warehouse and all the missing ones have been returned so if you are missing any customization you should have it back now if you don't go make a bug report so um it's 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 important to uh to note that now let's jump into the test server guys the fun stuff all right so we're in the test server now we can see that the studebaker 6u1 is 120,000 xp and it is at the end of tier 2 which is pretty nice to see that means we can actually use this mechanized in tier 2 and below so pretty happy to see that it's also apc driver 2 which feels kind of weird um also squad promo that's weird uh, it's weird that it's APC Driver 2. I guess they're wanting to do it like assaulters. So like riders are like the class one and then APC Driver 2s are kind of the the next set of those. But why wouldn't you just make them rider 2s? Why make it APC Driver? It feels very weird. Um, either way, let's go, uh, let's go check this out. You can see this is here. I'm going to do this because I have a bunch of free XP here. So I'll just go ahead and unlock this real quick. Um, and we can we can take a look at the actual squad itself. Uh, where are you at? Yeah, uh, let's see. What is it? What is it classified under? Oh, okay, it doesn't have a filter yet. That's incredibly annoying. Uh, oh, no, it does. Nice. Okay, sorry. I didn't see it. All right, let's drop that in and let's take a look at it and see here's what it is. Comes with four soldiers. That One of them is the APC driver. Uh, and we can free seats. Shooter, 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 and then one more shooter. 
So that's nice to see. Uh, this is squad upgrades. It looks like it can get up to, uh, what, four, five, up to, uh, or six, five, six soldiers total. Uh, and you can get no engineers. Wow. Okay. That's, that's a big thing. No engineers in this squad. That's actually probably a good change. I think this squad would probably be too good if it had engineers in it. Um, but we can see, yeah, there's no engineers and it can only get up to a squad size of six. So a fairly small squad overall. Um, uh, I don't have this squad because I don't have I don't have dollars. I only have uh I only have enlisted gold for right now, but we'll check that out at some point in the future. Um what was the other thing? Oh yeah, I wanted to check out the LMG. So the yeah, so the Maxim Tokarev all the way here at the end. We're gonna pick that up as well. Go and grab that. And then let's throw this in and see how it plays. Where's it at? There it is. Let's go check this gun out real quick, guys. All right, so here we are. Uh, we've got the Maxim Takarev. We can see... Oh, let's see how the recoil is just standing up. Not as bad as you'd kind of think. Also, kind of a cool animation. You see the little thing, like, flipping around there? It's kind of neat. What about if, like, prone? Oh, yeah, baby. This is better than like the this is like better than the 1996. Really, really little recoil. I'm sure that's going to be a solid gun. I don't know if it's going to be better than the RD44, but it's definitely going to be a solid gun. Uh, we can see this also what this truck is like, just driving around. Like you have your dudes in the back. Not bad. I wonder if I'll be able to do some like PTRS drive-bys. Just like do a drive-by on a tank, <laughs> just shoot it in the side. Uh, that'll be kind of funny. You can also see passengers in the bottom there. You guys see this down here? I don't know what that's for. That's kind of interesting. Maybe it just tells me how many passengers are in the vehicle. It's also fairly fast. Uh, I know they fixed the speeds of, of land vehicles recently, so it's nice uh, to see that. But it is, it is a fairly fast vehicle. So overall, um, that's, that's what we got there. That's at least for the Soviets. I don't think we're going to go too in-depth for all the different stuff. I think most... No one really got anything particularly new. I think the Japanese are the other ones that got something kind of new. Uh, but I don't have any any XP for this. You can see this is what the gun is. 5.6 hit power, 1200 rate of fire. Um, should be a pretty solid one. We'll probably do a whole video on this gun, guys. So keep an eye out for that. But otherwise, let's jump into a custom game and let's start looking at some maps. All right, so we're on Hurtgen Forest. Hurtgen? Hurtgen? Something like that. Forest. You can see these are, uh, we're playing as the US, so we got some nice camo here. I kind of like that. Looks nice. Pretty, It's pretty chilly out, so we got to get that nice camouflage on. I like how they look, though. They, look, they got the drip, dude. Let me tell you. Oh, did I? Do I have too many AI? Oh, I have tons of AI. That's awkward. Oh, well. Um, otherwise, I like this map. It's, like, kind of snowy and also kind of fall. Feels weird that there's snow here, but, like, the tree. Wouldn't the trees be bare? I don't know. The trees are, like, bare in the winter for me. Uh, maybe it's not. Maybe it's the type of tree. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not a tree guy. You know what I mean, guys. Overall, map looks really pretty. Let's see what this objective looks like. I can't see any of the German soldiers. Looks like those guys are just wearing normal stuff right now. Um, but that looks really nice overall. I'm digging the map aesthetic. What even is? Oh, it's a half track. Really dig this map. I'm sure we're not gonna go through the whole map, guys. We're just gonna take kind of like a little peek um, at some of the maps, but. Overall, ooh, I hope we go down there. That looks really cool. Maybe that's the other map. I think that's the other map down there. That looks familiar from pictures. I think since this is... Hey, don't shoot at me. I think since this is uh, this is the forest map, this is Hartgen Forest, I think this is supposed to be kind of a little bit more of just this map. Um, but yeah, I really like the aesthetic. I think it looks really nice. Um, I, I hope this gives kind of a different feel than, than other maps. I also really like the hills of this map. You can see like... There's tons of these, like, hills that provide some pretty natural cover. Like, right here is, like, a great place for, like, a rally point, right? That you can, like, kind of pop up here, put fire down, just, like, you know? That's pretty sweet. It also gives cover from tanks, right? Like, tanks aren't going to be super powerful in this area because um, they just, they aren't going to have the, they aren't going to have the lines of sight. So, that's, that's pretty cool. Let's move on to a different map. All right. So, now here we are on uh, a different map. Uh, I honestly, oh, dominant height. That's what this map is. Um, I'm not really sure what this, what this map is necessarily supposed to be recreating. Um, 
like historically speaking like i know where hurtgen forest is this looks like it's kind of a similar area um I'm surprised we don't have like a Bastone map or like a Foy map. Was Foy, was Foy the Battle of the Bulge? I think it was. Maybe Foy was before. I don't know. I don't know that off the top of my head, to be honest. I know the 101st was at both, but I'm kind of wondering. Ah, don't shoot at me. I'm trying to look at the map. But I kind of like this area. I don't know. Both these maps that we've looked at have kind of looked very similar, which is fine. They're taking place in the same area. We've got a nice barn over there. That's going to be a nice, like, kind of sniping post, I'm sure. Maybe even an AT gun up there to shell the objective. But again, I really like... One of the big things I like about these maps, and I'm just, just right off the cuff, they've got a lot of natural cover in the form of hills, right? Like, I feel like a lot of maps the enlisted devs have done this thing where they don't have a lot of this like natural cover. Like I'm thinking like Moscow, um, you know, a lot of it is just this like open flat terrain, which yeah, makes sense in Russia. But here I love that they have these little natural kind of, kind of, um, hills that I can, I can use to flank and cover my, cover my myself as I move around the sides of the map. I can get up here and build a rally. I'm also going to point out like, look how big the gray zone is. Look at this. Look how huge this is. This is awesome, right? Like all the way around here. Like I can bring an M18 Hellcat down this way. This is actually where the enemy comes from, interestingly enough. Wow, wait. So they're pushing in from here and we're coming from this way? That's kind of interesting instead of it being like this from like here and then here. Right, we're actually coming from this way. That's kind of cool. So then maybe setting up a rally point here and here. This first objective is probably going to be pretty hard to hold because I think the allies are going to be able to get in positions. Because, like, I can see this way, right? So, like, they're going to be crossing here and I can be sitting here with, like, a tank kind of pushing them off. But, again, gray zones are just huge. I mean, look how giant this is, right? If they're coming in this way, they probably aren't going to be able to see anything with tanks. So they're going to want to come this way. But then you can flank them this, this route. Very cool. I like this. Um, the last map had some pretty good gray zones as well in terms of overall size. So, um, yeah, this is kind of just the overall gist of what these maps look like. Again, guys, I'm not going to be going through all of it. I'm sure we'll have videos going over these new maps when the update comes out and playing on them uh, actively. So keep an eye out for that. We'll probably be doing some... Um, some community game nights and things like that where we play customs in our community discord so make sure you guys are joining up in there oh one last thing we can do is i uh let's go take a look at the let's go take a look at the uniforms i wanted to do that before we before we go it didn't seem like the germans had any new uniforms battle of the bulge ah there it is okay so they look very similar to normandy um which i i suppose makes sense but Aren't these just the Normandy ones? Am I crazy? Maybe not. Oh, that looks kind of sick. That looks cool. People are going to be like, Quadro, that's SS, you fucking Nazi. I'm sorry, man. All right. Uh, yeah, these all look... I feel like there should be like some big winter overcoat. I guess maybe... Oh, here they are. But these are, these are in Normandy, so these aren't very... Are these actually Moscow? Yeah, I don't know. I don't think any of these look particularly new. Am I crazy, guys? None of these, this is just like the standard German, nothing, nothing here looks like new. The Americans definitely had some new stuff. Let's go take a look at that. Whoops. So we can see this is all the new stuff if we look at the Battle of the Bulge. Yeah, there it is. That looks cool. I like that so much, dude. This looks dope. I might actually set my soldiers up. Honestly, I feel like this is the coolest one. I don't know. It feels it, like this looks like how they like this guy looks like he's wearing like two jackets, you know, like this stuff. Like this is like I don't I didn't have gear, you know, but this one looks like this is what he'd wear. Like he's fucking cold, man. It's like France in 1940 or Germany. I don't know. It's cold, dude. It's cold. So they're 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 bundling up. I like that. Pretty cool. Pretty cool overall. Looks like they really only added like the one, <laughs> the one like set of clothing. Now nah, some of these are new. This is new. Oh, I wonder if tankers got anything new. Let's go look, guys. Oh yeah, look, dude, he's got a little sweater on. Very cool. This is actually the Brits. Uh, he's got a little sweater on. Nice. Do we have an American tank? I don't have an American tank set up right now. Hold on. Uh, dude, where's my tier five? 
whatever. Yeah, sure. Okay, uh, where's, I need an American tanker squad. These aren't American tank squads. All right, hold on, guys. Okay, I got an American tank squad. Doesn't look like they got any new, cl oh, this is Normandy, I'm stupid. Okay, yeah, yeah, it's like, this is new, I think. This, I think this one's new. Not 100%. Oh, are these new? Are these gloves new? I'm not sure. I really don't mess with my... I don't mess with my soldiers very often in terms of appearance, guys. So, um... That's it, though. That's that's everything. Um, hopefully, this didn't this didn't ramble on for too long for you guys. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Join our community Discord. Follow on Twitch. Yada, yada, yada. I do appreciate all of that, guys. It does help me out. Uh, but otherwise, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take it easy.